This is Mrs. Pena. We're going to solve an equation with a variable on each side. Solve the square root of x plus 5 minus 3 equals x. To solve an equation that contains a, at least one radical, you need to get the radical by itself on one side of the equation and everything else on the other first as a first step. So we're going to write the equation that we started off, which is the square root of x plus 5 minus 3 equals x. This minus 3 is attached to the radical x plus 5 or the square root of x plus 5, so I'm going to undo or get rid of that minus 3, take it over to the other side. On the left, I'm left with the square root of x plus 5 equals x plus 3. Now I need to undo the radical, and how you undo the radical is by squaring both sides. Addition undoes subtraction, multiplication undoes division, squared undoes square root. If you do it to the left side, you have to do it to the right side. On the left side then, because the square undoes the square root, you're left with x plus 5. On the right side, be careful. x plus 3 squared is not x squared plus 9. Common mistake. It is, however, what you get when you multiply x plus 3 times x plus 3. So x plus 3, that quantity squared, will be x times x is x squared plus x times 3 is 3x plus 3 times x is 3x plus 3 times 3 is 9. So leave x plus 5 on the left alone, just recopy it. x squared, I'm simplifying 3x plus 3x to get plus 6x plus 9. I need to solve this for x, find a solution for x. I have a squared term in here and it doesn't look like I can combine that with anything. Since I have this squared term, the objective is to set the equation equal to zero so that I can factor or use quadratic formula. That means that everything on this left side of the equation is going to come over here to the right. So I'm going to subtract x first, and I would be left with 5 equals x squared plus 5x plus 9. Then I'm going to subtract the 5 also. And now on the left side, I have 0, which was my intention. I needed to set the equation equal to 0, plus 5x, and then plus 4. Now I'm looking at x squared plus 5x plus 4, and I'm going to try to factor that. Make both parentheses. Look at the first term. The only way to multiply to get x squared is x times x. Now I look at the last term. I want to multiply to be 4, but add up to be 5x. So 4 and 1 will be where I start off with. It's plus 4 and it's plus 5x, so I'm going to use both addition signs. And now I'll check my middle term. When I check my middle term, I get 4x. That's the inners. The outers will be 1 times x, which is 1x. That gives me 5x, which is my middle term, so this is factored correctly. Now that I've factored this, I'm multiplying two things, 1, 2, x plus 4 and x plus 1, time sign in the middle, that equals 0. If you're multiplying two things and they equal 0, one of those numbers has to be 0. That means x plus 4 equals 0, or x plus 1 has to equal 0. So x will equal, subtract 4 from both sides, negative 4, subtract 1, and x will equal negative 1. So those are my two possibilities for solutions. I have to check. And in order to do my check, I need to make sure I go back to the original problem 
and put those values for x in and make sure that they work. My original problem is the square root of x plus 5 minus 3 equals x. So in for x, I'm putting negative 4 first. The square root of negative 4 plus 5, then minus 3. And I'm wondering, does that equal negative 4? Negative 4 plus 5 is 1. The square root of 1 minus 3. And keep simplifying. The square root of 1 is 1. Minus 3 is negative 2. Does negative 2 equal negative 4? The answer is no. So negative 4 is not a solution. Now I move to 1, and I have to check that in my original problem. Start off with my original equation. Square root of x plus 5 minus 3 equals x. Put in negative 1. The square root of negative 1 plus 5 minus 3. Does that equal negative 1? Negative 1 plus 5 is 4. So I have the square root of 4 minus 3. The square root of 4 is 2. Minus 3 is negative 1. That does equal negative 1. So this solution checks. So the only solution to my original equation is x equals negative 1.